Hey guys, and welcome back to Front Mission. Okay, don't know what happened to the last video. It seems to be fine. For some reason, OBS split it up into two parts. I... <laughs> okay, I have actually seen OBS do that before, but I can't remember why it does that or what causes it to do that. Anyway, it's definitely going to have to keep an eye on it. Right, so, we've been to Grey Rock. Um, the May Hewer has... Uh, has led us to Grey Rock, I should say. Uh, didn't go great. We ran into some mercs. Uh, Mr. Driscoll turned up, killed Keith, at least destroyed his machine, put him out of action, and then blew up the hospital. Seems a bit odd they'd be blowing up a hospital that apparently Karen was in. Hmm, a couple of months ago. Seems strange. Anyway, we are at Grey Rock. We are at a new place. That does mean there's probably new stuff to buy. Let's have a quick little peek. There is indeed new weapons to buy. We've got bazookas. Lots of bazookas. We actually have a grenade launcher. We've got a nail fire, which is a flamethrower. Um... These flamethrowers are really good, but we're not going to bother, to be honest. Uh, we've got a shotgun there. I've never used a shotgun. I can't really say how good they are. I've got the Empire. Ah, uh, we've got the Leo Social machine gun, which is bloody lethal, to be honest. Um, right. So we do have some upgrading to be done here. And we can now buy the egret for everybody as well. But we kind of can't because we'd be overweight with everybody. But we have a clear upgrade path. We can get moth VRs. Which is cool. But this is going to cost a significant amount of money to upgrade. This is going to be expensive. So I'm guessing we've get yeah we've got new arms and everything. So oh we can get a hornet cannon which might sound cool but it kind of isn't. Um, right okay fine so we need to start grinding some cash. In that case, let's talk to this guy. Each weapon on Wanza part has a weight value. Your Wanza's body. Power output determines the total weight of your Wanza can handle. The weight to power ratio of your current Wanza is displayed in the top right. If this weight to power ratio goes over 100, your Wanza setup is too heavy and won't be able to take it into battle. Yep. I like how happy this guy looks. He looks like wearing a hippie shirt or whatever the hell. It's, yeah, really weird. Um, right, now let's go back to the bar, shall we? The tiger's eye. Ah, we meet again. Surely, it must be fate. What do you want? I lost my squad to that UCS commander, but I have a feeling I'd get a chance at revenge if I went with you. May I join your squad? Now, you can say yes or no. I don't know why you'd say no, because Paul's really good. Um, obviously, that means we now have yet another Wanza that we need to upgrade and keep in good condition with modern weapons. Uh, if you do say no to him here, you can come back at any time and pick him up. So we're gonna say yes. Much obliged. Paul C. Graeber at your service. Yeah, Paul's cool. Who else do we have here? We have a bartender. Grey Rock didn't used to be so crowded. This really used to be a small town. What happened was we recruited a lot of refugees when the UCS invaded. Freedom City. Uh -huh. Herbert. Have you met Alder in uh, uh, Menacer? Word is he's a hell of a merc, though he's got zero tolerance for green pilots of your ilk. Green pilots of my ilk? Dude. Is the Union and Army asleep? Why couldn't they stop the statesmen from entering the city? Well, that's war, I'm afraid. Oh, no. Celia. I ran away from Greyrock Hospital. I couldn't help it. It was the nightmares, raging fires, explosions, screams. It's all the fault of the military wing and its so-called research facilities. They're the reason why I couldn't get a peaceful night's sleep. Well, you look really banged up, dude. 
and you have a kind of strange neck as well. Uh, yeah, so Grey Rock Hospital Research Wing. Okay, I'm starting to put some things together in my head. Um, military ward, we could go. Right, we need to. We could go find Menhua. But before we do anything, let's exit and go back to Mensa. There is a reason. And let's go and talk to. Let's go to the arena. Nope. We want to go to the bar. Talk to Adler. What do you want, boy? Recruit Adler? Ah, oh, sure. Recruit me? Yeah. <laughs> Who do you think you are, boy? Do you think you're the one to order me around? Alright, I'll give you a chance. Let me see what you've got in the arena. If you can beat me, I'll think about joining your merry little gang. Excellent! So, let's head to the arena. And see if we can't take him down. Probably should have upgraded our Wanza, but... This egret should bring the pain. Now, I'm pretty sure if you lose, he still joins you, but I might be wrong. Says something. Oh! Oh! He's actually got us. Oof, you've lost the match. That's all you got? You got a lot of things to learn before even thinking of recruiting me, boy. Well, at least we showed off. Um, <laughs> what happens if you lose? Which, by the way, I've never seen, so there we go. Usually I upgrade my mech before I come in and challenge him. Wow. This is, might not be our round. Alright, well, we've done a considerable amount of damage. Not really enough, though. Yeah, he's going to go in for the melee stun. Ooh, this is going to be rough. Definitely should have upgraded the Wanza before we went and moved in with him. My headphone cable is caught. I got some really cool like wireless headphones now, some nice Corsair Virtuosas, but they're not very good with the Switch. Right, let's keep going, I guess. We will beat him. I just need to get lucky. Right, light his ass up with the Egret. That's okay, he can hit us in the legs. The only problem is that makes us waste our turn. Oh, he's just gonna rip us a new one. Okay, we hit him with the rockets. What do you think of that, old man? So, hmm. Don't you give the slightest damn about your self-preservation? It's like you got a death wish. What's it to you, anyway? Well, I, I won't have it. Listen, boy, as long as I'm fighting alongside you, I'll see that you make it every effort to stay alive. You got that? Yeah. What are we standing here for? Let's go. Yeah, so now we've got Older as well. Older, Adler, whatever. Uh, now, he actually cares. He's a big old softy, really. So, now, I'm going to have to put a break in the video here because I need to upgrade everybody's mechs. And that is going to be expensive. As you can see, if we go to the shop, we actually have how many mechs now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've now got eight mechs that we need to um, kind of keep alive. Would you believe that we can get another ten more? Yeah, this gets expensive. Now, you can't take everybody on every mission, but you can take the overwhelming majority most of the time. Uh, and also, these characters, these extra characters, um, like Paul uh, Aldler, Aldler, Adler, whatever. Uh, you can miss these guys. And just having those extra two mechs uh, on the early missions does make a hell of a difference. Gives you two extra turns per round, and you can really, you know, do the damage. So, anyway guys, uh, I will meet you back here once I've upgraded our, uh, our mechs. 
Okay, cool. So, that's done. And I will show you what we're working with. We have these monstrous beasts. Yes, we've gone for the tracked wheels because they give pretty good mobility and serious defense as well. Everybody has an egret launcher as well, double egret launcher, so we're in pretty good shape. Now, let's go and find May. You're lucky, the bullets barely missed your office. It's good to see you too, May. So, uh, did you find anything about my brother, Yehan? I'm sorry, May, nothing new. So, who's your beefy friend? Who? Uh, oh, Royd. How did you get here? Hands, is it? You make a living finding people? Among other things. Nothing that Hands the Hacker can't track down for you. Yeah, I'm not surprised. He's like permanently fused into a VR headset. Do you look for any info on the woman in this picture? Her name is Karen. Anything's fine, whether she's alive or dead, anything. Sure thing. And the first one's free for a friend of me's. Ha. I knew you hadn't given up on Karen. What happened to your brother? Me? Oh, Yehan? Uh, he kind of ran away from home a couple of years ago. I heard talk that he might be on Huffman, so... I hope you find him. I hope you find Karen too. Oh, right, let's head up the bar. Well, not the bar, the actual um, mission. All right, vacation's over. The army's on the move to push the statesmen back across the border. They need all the help they can dig up, even from mercs like you. Uh, sir, what am I doing? What? Oh, right, this Peewee Richburg Jr. He's a supply truck driver and the newest member of the Canyon Crows. Treat him like one. Him? But why? He tried to desert after the last battle, but got caught by the MPs. I managed to get him out of the court-martial on the condition that he joined us. He's a good driver and has a knack for dodging 80mm bullets with a 50-ton truck. Hey, <laughs> hi everyone. His truck will carry supplies and all the gear in the squad stock. You can repair, reload ammo and change loadouts if you stop by the truck during battle. Remember, keep the truck away from any fighting. It may be tougher than regular rigs, but it's still a truck. Alright, Crows, get ready to move out. Your primary objective is to knock out the mobile AA banner missile batteries surrounding Freedom City. Well, okay. So, we've got to take out some anti-air. Interesting. Here's a mission intel. So, we're... Uh, yeah, I mean... We are kind of... Um, above these guys. <laughs> We're almost twice their level, but that's fine. That It happens in the early game. Right. So, let's exit. We're in grey rock still. Let's go. Let's do that one again. We definitely uh, got very unlucky with some of our roles, but also... Also, the main problem with that was, yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. Um, we kind of split our guys up a little bit too much. I don't think we need to spend uh, to send so many down the other side. I mean, probably two will do it if we soften them up with rockets and we do need to try and keep the guys together a little bit better than that I can't believe we lost so many men doing that Jesus that was rough I don't think I've actually um, properly failed a mission in this game before even the final level like the last boss is just laughably easy Maybe we're pushing up a little bit too fast because we're allowing them to get in range of our rockets. Uh, what I'm, yeah, I might s just stick it with those two. Start bringing Paul down this way, maybe. I don't know. I feel like I probably, probably want more than two guys. 
Yep, I think we just need to concentrate fire more and get luckier with our hits. I think that's probably what it comes down to, to be honest. Right, let's give this a go. See what happens. It's those um, egret missile launchers that they have. You can see what I mean by just how punishingly powerful they are. They really are. Okay. With everybody standing back here, let's volley. Yeah, see, these misses. We can't have these misses. Oh, shit, and I just skipped his turn. That's really easy to do. It's okay. That's not okay. That's really not okay. Right, let's get the egret going. Oh, God. Uh... Right, you do need to move in there. Come on, hit him with the egret. There we go. That's what we want. That's one weapon taken out of commission. Now, we're probably going to want to send everybody this way, I guess. That's not how I did it before, but I think that's how we're going to do it this time. We've got attackers. That attacker is pretty much dust. Let's see if we can scratch this guy. Well, not really. Well, I guess technically we did. We, we scratched him. We don't want to scratch him. We want to kill him. Um... Right, let's hit you with the Galvados. And of course, miss most of the shots. So, uh, one thing to note as well. Um, increasing your skill, your experience with the weapon, does not make you more accurate. The actual XP number that you get awarded is kind of worthless, really. It doesn't do an awful lot of anything. All it does is, uh, when you get to a certain threshold, you can unlock skills. Now, there aren't very many skills in the game. Now, there's there's probably like three for most people. Some people have four. But they are extremely powerful. At least some of them are. Right, okay. <clears throat> See how this holds up. This is where it gets painful. It's dealing with the bloody missilers. The attackers aren't too bad. We can handle them. Kind of. Right, that missile there. He's going to get a lot of volleys at him next turn. Right. In fact, I'm even going to get Men Me Hua or May in on the action. Alright, that's not bad. That's not bad. We need to take these guys out. Alright. The trouble is, having the egrets on both sides, oof, that's spicy. Yes, there we go. Not bad, Natalie, not bad. Right. Don't know if I want to move you up and engage the Leo. Probably a good idea. Yep, take you out that way. Not bad, Keith, not bad. Now, hopefully, Keith can actually not die this time. Um, and you, you know what? Go for the Empire attack. Ah, oh. God, there's such a low hit rate when you've only got, like, a single weapon. Uh, we will put a round of missiles at this guy. Oof, that wasn't great. Not going to lie. All right, let's start... Moving in. Try and take these missiles out of action. Yeah, the idea is to hit, May. Just saying. 
commander. Oof. What's the commander armed with? Does actually have an egret. All right, he needs to go. Yeah, that's not exactly what I had in mind. Right, Adler, move up. In range of the missler. Nice. Let him have it. Oh, come on, man. Ugh. RNG accuracy. Oof. It is rough. Right, this could hurt. Alright, that was fine. That was okay. Right, Empire Rifle. Come on, go. Ugh. It's amazing how bad, like, the XCOM accuracy they are on the, in these massive great big machines. You know, <laughs> when you think about it. These humongous machines with all these targeting computers and God knows what they got going on. But they can't hit anything. But that's okay. We aren't actually in an awful position yet. Frederick's getting worn down though, which isn't great. Seven turns. That's fine. Um, right, I'm going to get right up to this missile. And hit him with a Leo. Nice. Not fantastic, but we'll take it. Now, hit him with the Egret. Come on. God damn. Fucking useless. Right. Hit him with the Egret. Guy's literally hanging on by a thread. He's got nothing left. You can handle him. Honestly. Um, now, let's go this way. No, I kind of want him in a position where he can get some shots in. There we go. Take him out. Keith. Keith. You're not listening, brother. All right. Let's go straight down here. So, you know what? Send it. There we go. Another egret out of action. I'll take it. Fred. That's the attacker. You know what? I don't really care about the attacker, Fred. I want the missile has gone. There we go. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Alright. May? Open up with the missiles. Alright. Well, I mean, okay. Better than nothing, I guess. Leo Social, go to work. Ooh, not, not terrible. Not terrible. Right. So they've got one. Have they got two more missiles? It's an attacker. What do these guys actually have? He's got the egret. Ah, he's also got an egret. He's a commander. Yeah. Right. So there's still three egret launchers around. That's fine, though. Right. Let's start pushing forwards. Send a volley at the commander. Oh, ho, ho. all right, not bad, not bad. All right, Pee Wee, sorry, brother, but you're going to have to act as a bit of a decoy. All right, return fire. Oof, that did sting a little bit. Now, these missiles are probably, yeah. Yep. There's the hit of the whole fruit right there. Uh, and a more. More. Oh, thank God for that. Man, I felt the heat of that go past. Alright. Defend yourself, Frederick. You're going to have to do better than that, Fred. Right. Now, I... Right, let's push straight forwards and 
that missile needs to go. You're not listening. You're not listening to me. He said that missile needs to go. God damn. Why do I even pay you guys? Right, well. Attacker, take an egret. That's it. He's actually disabled now. Okay. So, the only thing we can hit is him. But, you know what? We're him. If we can. You know, one missile at least, I suppose. Better than nothing. Right, let's start working this guy over. You missed a stationary truck. You, you, you actually missed a stationary truck. Unbelievable. Alright, well, whatever. Frederick, oof, he actually kind of needs some health, to be honest. Uh, let's attack you with Galvados. Okay, so Paul, I'm going to have to actually bring you back so you can start attacking this thing. Oof. So apparently, our boys over here can't be trusted with such tasks. Right, can you kill this guy? Right, you can. Okay, good stuff. This is good. Peewee, I might need you to go over here and shoot at this guy. Defend yourself, Peewee. <laughs> How he missed the truck, I don't know. But I'm glad he did. Definitely not complaining. Ooh, took his primary weapon out. This is going to hurt. Yeah, it did. Could have been worse. Could have been better. Ooh. Right. She's lost an arm. That's not fantastic. Okay. No more time for pissing around. That guy needs to go. Unbelievable. Actually unbelievable. Come on. Really? Really? I think they actually need backup over there. Well, actually, they're probably going to need backup over here to destroy that, to be honest. Missiles are definitely where it's at for that. Alright, Keith. You're going to have to start getting rid of this guy because he's bottlenecking us. Left him with one HP. Left it with 2 HP. Alright, let's get some more rockets. Right, use item. Yeah, we're just going to have to repair. May, use the pap. Ugh. She might actually go down. This is what happens if you're like one kind of um, level of technology behind. Right, there's one rocket launcher down. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Right, he is literally just stonewalling us right now. He is just blocking our path. Uh, Peewee, attack that guy. Thank you. Alright, so we're technically clear now. Oof, okay. Missile is being ineffective. Which I'm happy about. Come on, May. 
You can do it. Four turns. This is not great. Right. You have got to go. You're literally cock blocking us. Now we need to start beelining down here. And we need to start hitting these missiles. Because otherwise we're going to get a, a bit of a telling off. And we do want to avoid that. Oh, okay. Well, we might have made it a little bit easier on May. Right, Jerry can push up. Jerry can kill that. Right, one launcher left. That we can handle. Everybody else start pulling. At least I think. Yeah, there's nothing down here. These guys aren't really going to be able to get anywhere in four turns. But that's okay. That is what it is. Alright, let's push up. Fred, hit him. One rocket down. Kind of want both of his rockets down, to be honest. Mate, get yourself some free experience. Alright, you know what? You might as well just keep rolling around. You're not going to be able to be any use any other way. Right, hit it with the egret. That's fine. Now we should, in theory, be okay. Oof. I'm going to need a repair pack. Definitely going to need a repair pack. Three turns left. That's fine. We can handle three turns. We should be done. Right. Get rid of that. Now, I'm not sure if that's a wrap now. Nope, we still have enough time to take this other guy out. Cool. I wasn't sure if that just ended the level. If I had known that, probably would have spent more time going for him. Right, come on. Okay. Okay. Now, can he get to me? Because that would end this turn, or this real fast. Actually, what? I'm pretty sure... Right, he doesn't have any long-range weapons. So if we just park there... Now, in the original game, if you park the repair truck... Um, next to damage units, they did slowly heal. I don't know if that's still a thing in this one. I'm going to assume it is, because everything else is the same. Two turns left. Yeah, I can't tell, to be honest. Oh, he did a little bit of damage. Come on, Ryu. Oh, he's done it. Final shot. Clean straight through. All hostiles eliminated. Mission complete. Nice. We'll take it. Got five grand for the actual mission. And we got a nice little bonus. Of 4.4 thousand. Okay. And with that, probably going to have to end the recording session there. Because I need to start editing and rendering videos for the rest of the week. And that's Grey Rock. So... We've actually got, like, another mission. Does this go straight into another mission? Some of the levels go straight into another mission. Which is bad when you need to stop recording.
Yeah, the loading times. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, God. This one could be rough. Freedom Liberation Force to HQ. Where's our backup? We need back. It's no use. We can't get past their armor. Gah! We've lost. The OCU troops, they're all dead. Hostiles at 12 o'clock. Those Wanzers. It's the OCU 64th. 64th? What's that? You've never heard of them? It's the uh, UCS's cream of the crop. Hell's Wall. Krieg. Yeah, <laughs> fresh meat. I don't know what's going on with his face. I don't know if that's a face mask. I don't know if it's a beard. I don't I don't know what that is. That gaggle seriously thinks they can get past us alive? We'll take care of them. Alright boys, listen up. Rebus, Milligan, right flank. Dave, Greta, left. Me and Josh are bait. Move. Got your boss. No one gets past Hell's Wall. You're going down. Right. Um, obviously, we're not going to have time to do this mission. Uh, this one can be incredibly rough. This can potentially be uh, one of the hardest fights in the actual game. Uh, especially as we're not particularly leveled, but we do have good equipment. Um, luckily, there are a couple of little tips that you can use because it's not just hell's wall you have to fight there are other enemy units as well but we'll cover that in the next episode so thank you very much for watching guys and as always till next time